Hello everybody, I'm Mixical, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Axiom mod. You can build wonderful structures like all of these using the Axiom mod. It's a very versatile tool. Hello Agent Smith, how are you today? That's from Easy NPC. You can also build yourself a power plant if you really want to. So step one is the downloads. Download the Fabric Mod Launcher. It's very important we download that one because that way we can load up all of the different mods into Minecraft using Fabric. Then we need the Fabric API. Download this one. I'm going to use version 1.20.4, but Axiom is actively updated, so it might be available for a future update as well. Once that's downloaded, we can head over to CurseForge again to download the Axiom mod, a very powerful and versatile tool. So I'm going to download that one for 1.20.4 and for Fabric. But as you can see, there's lots of different versions available. Once you've selected that, hit download. Once it's in your downloads folder, we have everything we need now to use the Axiom mod. So once we've got that, it's actually a very big download, that one. What we need to do is basically install Fabric. So in your downloads folder, click the little Fabric icon. Wait a minute. Install it for the version that you want. I'm going for 1.20.4. Click install and make sure you create a profile as well. Once you've done that, ooh, look at this nuclear power plant. It's already installed and everything's ready. So what we need to do now is move the mods. In your downloads folder, drag them over to your mods folder in your Minecraft folder. That should be here at the top left. And that's it, it's done, it's installed, it's ready to play. So now what we need to do is load the Minecraft launcher, just like this. Select the version that you've just installed, that's the one with fabric. You could configure it, but I'm not going to bother here, so click play. Once you click play, you've got to wait for it to download a bunch of stuff. And once it's ready, you are in the game. So here I am, it's nearly finished, it's nearly finished. Yes, I'm in the game. If you're liking this tutorial, by the way, subscribe to my channel and send me a comment if you're having any trouble with it. I'm just going to create a simple, basic, creative world. And here I am. Great, I'm in the game, let's have a look around. Simple, everything's normal, nothing's changed. If I press E, I don't have any other mods installed, but if I press right shift, I open up the Axiom mod menu, and with this rectangle tool, I can select a slice of the ground, copy it or cut it, and then move it up like that, and I've got myself a sky block. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So let's look at some more advanced things that you could do with the Axiom mod. First, I created Slumville. This is a part of my Mitsumaru City series, and it's hideous. I also made this entire motorway by copying and pasting a small segment of the motorway many, many times. Over here in the main area of the city, you can see there's some sky risers over there. Basically, I created a module of one block copied it and pasted it many, many times, and I got myself a sky rise all the way to the top of the world. Or so it seems, it could probably go further than that, but I'm not really bothered. It looks amazing, and Axiom Mod helps me with that. So over here, look, if I press right shift to open the menu, what you could do first is use this magic wand tool to select a large area of ground. I'm not a big fan of the magic wand tool, because I can select many a thing and it's actually wrong but with that you can cut the ground and paste it and then you can move it up and down like that and have a section if you want to put it back you've got to be very careful but look i put it back i think it's actually one lower now so what you could do is go back into the menu and then just lift it up one more done you can also use Control and z which basically undoes everything is pretty important that chest has something in it i'll deal with later but not in this tutorial it's pretty good that I would totally recommend using the rectangle tool. You can select different slices. It's a very, very useful thing. You can go all the way down to the core of the earth, cut it or copy this, and you can have a block. As you can see, that could be very useful for creating like a house or something. If you want to have a big giant dirt house, it's done. You can do the same with a turret for a medieval castle, and you can rotate it on different axes as well. Blue, red, and green, and you can move it around again with blue, red, and green. Green is for up and down, that's an incredible tool. This one you can select a different area. I'm not really fond of using that one, but it does look kind of cool. I could make a moat, but definitely for a medieval keep. And basically I'm using Control and Z to remove that. You can also use this weird section tool. I've not used that ever before. And with that, you can actually copy a landmass like that. Yeah, okay, it's kind of weird. If you want to put that there, that's fine, but I'm not really keen on that. Yeah, 
But in my city, I do have a lot of different things going on. If I go down here, when you open up the menu, the controls are a little bit funny. You've got to use right click to move around. But here, look, I've got an entire sewer network under everything. Every single road and street has a sewer and it goes on for miles and miles under the entire city. I did that with the power of Axiom mod. It's really, really powerful. You can go in the menu and out of the menu if you want to, just like that, and it sort of teleports you there as well. That's another handy feature with the Axiom mod. But yeah, this is a bit scary, isn't it, down here? Let's see if I can navigate my way through this place and get to the shopping district. I'll fly a bit, because it's going to take forever walking. Over here, some graffiti and some bins. Oh, I'm trapped on the spider web. Okay, cool, cool. Let's open this door. Okay, going to close it very carefully fly up this ladder and here I am I'm at the little 7-eleven right in the sort of center area of the city I guess yeah great so brilliant let's look at some other features of the Axiom mod because I totally recommend using this as I fly over here you can have a look at the next tool which is the melt tool now the melt tool is funny really you can melt the ground like that Control Z to remove it. Let's have a look at an actual practical use of the melt tool. You can use the mouse wheel to scroll really quick like I just did there. And this bit of the ground look, you can melt it in different areas to sort of level it up if you want to. Again, very powerful indeed. It's quite helpful. So what I'm trying to do here is look for a clip side that's not quite level. A bit like there, look. And you can just melt a little bit of it. So what I'm going to do now is load up a different version of the game. Here, I'm going to create a new world. Just basically do a normal, simple game, but leave it on creative. A standard survival map. Load it up. It does take a while to load because reasons. But once it's loaded, you can see that I'm in... Other Badlands. Okay, great. This is not the place I really wanted to be. I don't really like this biome, but other people love it, apparently, because there's gold. Anyway, if I go into the Axiom mod with right shift again, I can select an area of the land that I want to copy. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, stretch it across, all the way over there, and up all the way to the top. Press enter, and then you can cut it or copy it. If you copy it, it's in the top right-hand corner with a million blocks or whatever. And with that, you can go somewhere where there's nothing. If it's in your city, you want to have some kind of structure. Let's go over to this watery bit. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, there's a bit of planes there, which pleases me. Go back in, and then you can paste in that massive lump and basically put it where you want it to be. Again, this would be useful for making a large castle. If you've already got a pre-existing structure, you can paste it in like I just did there. With caves and all, that's brilliant, isn't it? Look at that. You can see all the different layers and stuff. Could be useful, I guess. I mean, I don't know what I'd use it for, but it is a lump and it actually matches. Control Z to remove it and everything's good. Control Z, you see? Huh. Okay, so that's copied now into my clipboard. Let's go back to Mitsumaru City here. Load in all the resources and take a million years. Oh, it's not too slow. It's not too slow. Here I am. If I go back into the menu by right shift, I can paste in that lump and have it here. Nice little lump. Okay, I'll have it there like that. I don't know why. Kind of looks interesting, actually. What you could do is go underground and see all the different oddities from the Axiom mod. And then you can remove it again with Control Z or Z. Great. I'm really happy with that. There's loads more you can do with it, and there's loads more features that I'm only just exploring. The melt tool, no, it's not for me. Look, I'm exposing my sewer network. I don't want to do that. Control Z, many time. And then you've fixed it, you see? A very, very versatile tool, and I totally recommend using it in your massive construction build. This is a bit sheer. Look, I might melt that bit there. Melt this bit here, done. And then you can change the grass and stuff later. And it will grow back, won't it? And if you're not happy with it, you can just control Z. Very powerful. Let's go over here, look. Another powerful tool from the Axiom mod is the ability to replace certain blocks. Replace, you can replace a few of the blocks, not all of them. So I'm gonna replace these line markings. And if you press control and select the other one, you've got two. Now replace, and I'm gonna replace it with lava. Look at that, the shader packs make the lava look like orange tiles, but it is there. That's lava bubbling away. Control Z and it removes it, but you can select some blocks. You don't have to replace all of the blocks in your build, just a few of them. So over here, look, this wonderful house that I built. I'm gonna select it all with the rectangle tool, go up to the sky, yeah. Press enter and then replace. I'm going to select the frame blocks, all four of them by pressing control replace all and then you can replace them with a different frame if you've got them in your hand 
or a stone block, for example. So let's see. Replace them with that. Make it look a little bit weird. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're not happy with it, again, just Control Z. Great. That's a very powerful tip. You don't have to replace all of the blocks every time. You can select the different blocks that you want. Like, let's have a look at this tower. So I go back into the interface, and I'm going to select the apartment block here, all the way around with the rectangle tool. Go up to the sky, just whatever, it doesn't matter. Press Enter, Replace, and I'm going to search for the blue stuff. So let's see, blue acrylic. Just those. Yeah, click that. Replace with... Uh, I'm not going to replace it with sand, it might mess things up. This, you see the andesite, or whatever it is, looks really, really good, doesn't it, like that? Could mess around with the house a bit. I don't really want to do that. So if you're not happy with it, again, Control z It just removes that action, doesn't it? Brilliant. It's an incredibly versatile tool, and you can do a lot with it, definitely for copying and pasting at the bare minimum. You can also put shapes in. So if you want to, you can select this little shapey shape, put him in, that's like a little concrete mushroom floating oddly. I like that. It's a bit weird though, isn't it? So let's make a bigger one. You can also select it to be hollow. If you look at the options on the left, you've got hollow. Change the radius so it's a bit bigger, and then you can just pop it in like that look. Cool, so I've got this like little igloo shape made of concrete. You can change the block types, it doesn't always have to be stone, does it? Pop away a little hole here for a doorway, a frame, and you've got yourself a nice hollow base already done. Boom, I've got myself a mansion. Control z to get rid of it, Z, whatever, and then I can fly over and show you an actual example of that at the nuclear reactor over here. That's what I did to make this. Oh, jump over, open those doors, look, it's a nice hollowed out big space thanks to Axiom Mod. I didn't have to bother copying and pasting a million blocks and doing a perfect dome layout. Please excuse the slimes bouncing around, they're very loud, but yes. If I do it over here, look, I've got a hollow shape, pop it in the ground about here, let's see, yep, that'll do. Whoops, not control V. No, no, that's that lump. Paste another one in, another block, just like this. Exactly the same position, and then move it across. Move it across a bit with the blue line. That's about right. Interlock them, and I've got this weird shape. Let's pop away the wall. There we go. It's a little bit funny because the two of them together. But as you can see, I've got a nice hollowed out sphere. Pretty cool. And if you want to, again, you can go back into the menu and undo those changes. Yeah, so everything's fixed. I did exactly the same here with this cooling tower. If I go over to the cooling tower, as you can see, there's nothing in it, but I basically built it up with loads and loads of rings. These are also copied and pasted. The Axiom mod came in useful here absolutely when I made this fantastic place. There are a bunch of other tools that I don't really know. This looks interesting. You can like melt the ground a little bit, erode it. That's pretty cool. This one, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure I want to press it. This one here, I pressed it, and I selected the entire creative map outside the boundaries of my city. So, I don't know what I'm doing there. I nearly broke everything. Undo, undo, change it, fix it, don't do that, don't do that. Some of them are very powerful. I don't want to collect, select the entire field over there. That's mental. Whoa, that's wrong, isn't it? There's also a few other tools, like this hammer. And with that, you can shatter the ground. Look at that. You can make like this weird design in the ground, this pattern. I don't really understand what that does, but that looks really interesting, actually. You could use that for some kind of burnt ground, you know, where the demons are coming out of the portal or something. Let's have a look. How deep is that? That looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? That is definitely shattered. If I go underground, you can see all of the different holes in it. That's a very interesting tool for a demon portal, for sure. Yeah, that's cool. You can mess around with the settings on the left of that. I bet you could do loads of cool stuff with that. This has been a fantastic guide, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. The Axiom mod is one of my go-to mods when I want to copy and paste things, for sure. And it does have a lot of other versatile, useful things, like the fluid ball. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've done too much. Stop. Cancel. Cancel. I just want a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's put a pool of water here. Let's not flood the entire world. Okay, pop that in. Oh, look, I've got an instant lake. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so control Z to get rid of that. Let's change it to snow. Yeah, look at that. I can have a lump of snow just sitting there. Or lava. Let's grab myself some lava. Boom, look at that nice orange chunk. Yeah, that's really interesting. The fluid ball. Cool. It's pretty interesting. I like that. Yeah, that's a pretty cool tool. Control Z to get rid of that. I don't want to ruin the world. Let's go over here to the, another lake. Let's use the mouse wheel to zoom over. Bup, bup, bup. You can actually select a bit of the water here. 
like this, a bit down, all the way, cut it, and then you can move it up, paste it in, and it doesn't fall down, look at that. So there's no like waterfall effect, it's like a perfect rectangle cuboid thing, and it doesn't waterfall down. I found that to be quite a useful mechanic with the Axiom mod actually. Pretty cool. I built this whole lake using the melt tool with the Axiom mod. I did, I did. And then just changed a few of the blocks to beach. Pretty interesting. I really hope this guide has helped. If it has, subscribe to my channel, send me a comment, support me on coffee if you want to. I'm Ixicol, and I'll see you next time.